Hello everybody, I am Mindy McDaniel and welcome back to Critical Points, episode 23. And when we left off, somebody activated our door mechanism and we don't know who it was. So let's find out who it was, right now. I hadn't activated the door mechanism and there was nothing on the monitor. My right arm sensor told me that someone had entered my room. A saboteur? My body tingled with a sudden rush of adrenaline. I undid my holster snap and drew my gun, pointing it towards the doorway. The shadow standing in front of the door spoke. Elise? The tension drained from my body and I relaxed. Of course, Elise could tee that sort of thing just as well as the saboteur. Elise, uh, and maybe Rico. It's you, Elise. Her tone sounded a bit petulant. What was her problem? I figured that out right away. The main computer was like Elise's servant. It wouldn't be strange for any transmission to be monitored. In other words, she was ticked off about Carla and I calling her by her development code, EL. It couldn't be helped. We don't know who might be monitoring transmissions. After all, you were listening. Hi. Yes it is, now shut up! She still wasn't mollified though, her intellect understood but her feelings didn't. Stupid feelings. So I decided to change the subject. Well, did you get any results from your analysis? Hmm, she sounded strangely different than she had earlier. Oh, that must have been quite a chore. I replied quickly. She snubbed my remark. She's definitely in a bad mood. In other words, our drug search is back to square one. Oh, fair enough. I am a bit of a moron. Uh-oh, she's still mad. Hard to believe. Hmm, but you just said that there were no harmful materials. Oh, Elise is all pissed off, apparently. Alright. Oh boy, Elise is scary when she's pissed. Elaborate scheme! So everything's passed individual inspections! Yes. But when used to prepare meals, they did their dirty work. So that's how it worked. No, now I knew why there's been so little effect on Rico. She wouldn't think of eating the set menus. Her home cooking, question marks parenthetically, had saved me from the worst of the effects. At least noticed the package that I had been eating from. Yeah, what of it? Yes, it was hard to believe that our saboteur would go that far. What's that supposed to mean, you racist? That would help, but Corporal Shinazuka has been sent to CIC duty, and she's the one who is good at that sort of thing. Elise's expression softened at the moment of uh, at the mention of Rico's name. Shinotsuka, ah, main computer. 
Couldn't slip one past Elise, but you could slip one into her, as I have proven repeatedly in the past. Yes, she's really good at putting together meals. I always left it up to her. I guess I'll have to stick to sea rations. Oh, can you? Well, okay then, Rico 2.0. Elise pouted at me. Shut up, Skype. But you're supposed to be locked up. I can't be calling you just to make dinner for me. That's right, the main computer is under Elise's control. What a relief! No more problems with Elise's my nanny. Hi. Elise's face suddenly glowed. Just that one phrase, and she's in good spirits again. Oh, brother. Your tits? Alright. No, I just ate. I won't need anything for a while. However, you could show me your tits. I paused in mid-sentence, then whispered softly to her. Show me your tits. Oh. Will you help me get rid of the poison? There's no time to explain how the space snake bit me there. I just need you to suck out the poison. Elise looked serious as she stared at me in disbelief. It must be the pressure of controlling the main computer. She was shocked at the presence of a poison she hadn't detected. Of course, that wasn't what I had meant. I'd meant to tease her, but she didn't get it. Stupid girl. It, was a, it, has occur, uh, it has occurred within my body. It's called methane. Wait, what? What? Are you seriously asking her to suck the thoughts out of your ass? What the hell is wrong with you, me? When Elise unexpectedly entered my room, I tensed up. It had affected my body and I felt a throbbing in my groin. I explained it to her. Well, are you going to take responsibility? No, I don't want this to happen. Please, me. You're a sick bastard enough. You don't need to resort to this. Elise's cheeks flamed bright red as she blushed in response. Elise turned around and began to undo her buttons. Oh. We're going to have sex, then. Oh, okay. Just don't suck anything out of my ass, okay? I moved over to the bed and sat down. Elise? Elise turned around. Just like that. Come here. Elise only had her front open. She approached me shyly and stopped. I slid my hand up her skirt. Elise jerked her hips backwards reflectively. Just hold still. She stopped moving. I moved my hand around her hips, feeling the thinness of her panties. She had already developed a wet patch in them. I could feel her heat as her body trembled. Maybe she had been expecting this from the beginning. I stroked her some more. Elise sighed softly. Her panties were wet enough to stick to her skin. I could feel the shape of her pubic area through her panties. Her mound and her slit. And the small protrusion at the tip of her slit. That's the clitoris. I slid my finger around her slit and stopped there. I moved the material aside and stroked her secret place with three fingers. I flicked her erect clitoris. Yes, I told you that's what it was called. Just then, Elise's hips arched up upwards. She was beginning to get more excited. I thrust two fingers up her crevice. With all her love juice dripping out, they slid in easily. 
My thumb was on her clitoris. I moved it around in a massaging motion. You really want it, don't you? Simultaneously, I dug my fingers deeper into her depths. Elise moaned loudly as her juices flowed from her slit. Her love nectar dripped down her thighs. I took my fingers out and lifted her skirt, placing my mouth over her dripping hole. I pretended not to hear her as I snaked my tongue up her pussy. My tongue twisted and turned inside her. She squirmed in reaction and tried to grasp my tongue with her pussy. Oh my. Elise's hips trembled as she rested her hand on my shoulder. She couldn't support her own body any longer. All right. I raised my face from between her legs and opened my pants. My member stood up as if it was aiming straight for Elise's crotch. Make sure my cock's well lubed too, so it goes in nice and easy. Hi. Elise got on her knees and took my cock into her mouth. And for a minute there, I thought we were going to make it through an entire sex scene without having to do any editing. Nope, there's the editing. Elise took her lips off my shaft and looked up at me. Is this good? she asked. Yes, that's perfect, I said. Elise went back to work. I slipped my hand inside her bra. I could feel her smooth, soft skin. I pinched her hard nipple between my fingertips. Elise took her lips off me again. Don't stop! Use your tongue, now! I said. Her tongue wrapped itself around my member. Really? Her, her tongue can wrap itself entirely around my member. Oh, android sex is the best sex of them all! I could hear a slurping sound that matched the rhythm of her tongue movements. I massaged her breast inside her bra and tweaked her nipple with my fingertips. Her nipple got even harder. Oh, oh, that's oh, Elise said. Elise couldn't continue her fellatio as she slumped weakly to the floor. I took Elise in my arms and pulled her back up to me. Her legs were trembling, but she managed to stand. Well, we almost got away with no editing there, but Elise had to have her big bushy bush in the frame, didn't she? I raised her skirt and pulled down her panties. Her love nectar dripped down between her legs. I spread Elise's thighs and it had her straddle me. Her legs were spread wide open. Oh my, it's so embarrassing this way, Elise said. Sit down, right here, I told her. Elise held her skirt up with her hand and lowered her hips, sliding herself onto my member. Only her lower half was stripped. Her leaking love juices slathered all over my dick. With a slurping sound, she engulfed the head of my penis. I could feel her warm, slippery insides. I sank deeper into her depths as she continued to lower herself. She felt so nice and tight. I could feel her squeezing my member. Uh, 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 
Elise couldn't support herself any longer and collapsed onto me. My shaft impaled her to the hilt. Elise suddenly clamped tight around me and then relaxed again. I could feel her through my rod. Elise's eyes were glazed. Her mouth was half open and her lips moved slightly. She seemed to have orgasm just from all the stimulation. But I had a little ways to go still. Okay Elise, I'm going to move now, I said. I grabbed Elise's ass with both hands and lifted her up. Then I sank deep inside of her again. <laughs> ah, ah ha, da da don't, Elise said. She tried to stop me, protesting in a weak voice, but I kept pumping slowly into her. Her ruffled top was open and her tits bounced gently before me, still restrained by their bra. <laughs> Oh, de don't I, I'm, oh, Elise said. I continued pumping my hips, but Elise couldn't keep up her protests as her head shook back and forth. She was taking me in without any resistance. I removed one hand that was holding Elise's ass and supported her with the other hand on her lower body. Then I slipped my free hand inside her uniform. I grabbed her tit inside her bra and squeezed it. I began massaging it softly. I could see her nipple growing erect and pushing against the material of her bra as she neared her peak again. Elise grabbed me as her lips sought mine all on their own. Her lower lips were grabbing me too, clutching at me with their own rhythm. She had finally come down from her orgasm and was now responding even more wildly than before. I brought my hand that was supporting her around to her front to pull up her bra. And there's the full edited scene right there. I, I needed both of her tits, rubbing her nipples between my fingertips. Elise released her lips from mine as she arched backwards, moaning loudly in ecstasy. Might actually not need to do any editing there, there's just a little peek of a butt. Elise grabbed onto me with both arms just to hold herself up. I squeezed her breasts harder and as, as I began pistoning my shaft in and out of her body faster. Elise writhed in my lap. Her love juices gave our movements a nasty squelching sound. Really looks like I'm having a good time there, doesn't it? She was squirming around so much that even if I didn't move at all, she'd still feel it. Elise's, uh, Elise's gr uh, what? Elise ground her hips madly into my lap. My shaft could feel the vibrating walls of her pussy as it constricted me with her orgasm. I thrust right back at her. Elise's hips squirmed madly back and forth. My cock slid in and out of her depths even faster. An almost numbing feeling arose from my lower body. 
Ugh, I'm coming now, Elise. My load exploded deep inside Elise, spurting hot fluid over and over again into her depths. At the same time, Elise writhed uncontrollably all over my lap. <laughs> Elise's pussy sucked me into her body as if it was trying to milk all the semen out of me. She collapsed on top of me with my member still buried inside of her. My spent cock began losing its stiffness, but I could feel her pussy continuing to throb hotly. Just like before, I could feel my penis quickly recovering to its full power. In fact, I was hard again in no time. Elise sighed as she laid on top of me. Then she raised her head to whisper softly in my ear. Captain Osumi, you were teasing me, weren't you? She asked. Hmm? In what way? I replied. That was mean of you when I got like that, she said. I chuckled at her accusation. Not just me, all men are like that. Well, that's a broad generalization. Oh really? Elise asked. Yes, besides, I didn't think I was doing anything that you weren't enjoying, I replied. You really are teasing me, Elise said. With that, Elise kissed me. Unlike before, she thrust her tongue into my mouth aggressively. With her stimulus from above and below, my cock was awake and ready for battle once again. It had just been resting. Oh? Never mind. She removed her lips from mine as she sighed sweetly. Oh my, Lazy-san, you're so naughty, Elise said. I'll take that as a compliment. But I'm not thinking of this as a rematch or anything like that, I said. I don't mind, Elise said. Was that a line originating from the electronic brain that's controlling the main computer? If so, I just hope that nothing happened while we were doing it, or she was recovering from us doing it. I thrust my stiff penis deep into her body. <laughs> Elise leaned against me, clinging to me tightly. I'll take you at your word. One more round, I said. I began my attack on Elise's pussy once again. The alarm from the terminal woke me up as usual. And as usual, we are going to cut the episode here. So, uh, thank you for watching. I am Indy McDaniel. Until the next one. See you.